Hey guys, welcome back to Pickskin and Poetry. I'm Coach Arnser here with another video game reaction. This time we're going to be checking out something uh, I'm kind of excited about, but I've heard, you know, I'm a little late to this. I've heard some negative talk. I'm going to be looking at Assassin's Creed Shadows, the official trailer. Um, I'm a giant Assassin's Creed fan. I, I love those games from the very beginning. I mean, all the Ezio games, obviously, were some of my favorite games. I'm a giant stealth game fan. Um, I wish they would make more Splinter Cell games, honestly. It used to always kind of be this argument, like, what's the better stealth game? You have Splinter Cell, which was kind of honestly my favorite. Once Chaos Theory came out and introduced that knife, like, that kind of was a game changer. You had the Metal Gear Solid fans, which I wasn't all, you know, I was never, I was always more of an Xbox gamer than a PlayStation gamer, so I never really sided with the Metal Gear Solid. I tried to play one Metal, Metal Gear game along the way somewhere. I can't remember one that eventually came out on Xbox, and it was okay, but I wasn't a giant fan of it. Um, but I was, you know, especially in the early days when the Assassin's Creed games really felt more like assassin type games. Um, those games really kind of piqued my interest and I really enjoyed those quite a bit. Um, kind of once we got into like some of the later games, it was really more of like an action adventure kind of thing. Um, and I don't hate those games either. Those games are still fun. I will say that, you know, Black Flag is probably still my favorite Assassin's Creed game. There's something about just sailing around the seas that they just... You know, being a pirate, an assassin pirate, that kind of stuff. Um, there's something they really nailed about those games, and I enjoyed those. I have to be completely honest. Um, but man, there's something really about the allure of the first Assassin's Creed game, and it's certainly about Assassin's Creed 2 um, that really just kind of stick with me and make me still love those games. But I heard they might do, be doing like a Assassin's Creed game in like Japan, and like ninjas and that samurai and that whole thing. And I mean, that seems like it's like fit perfect for the game. So let's check out this trailer. I don't know what all the controversy is about. Maybe we'll see uh, uh, when we check it out. So let's see what it's all about. Some ninja vibes. Who are you? Who do you serve? I've ever known in my life. I will end. It's a very pretty game. Our customs. My family. Burns in the name of unification. Nothing of the sea. The oceans fill with new ships. Hopefully we get some cool ship action. come from the same river. Greed. Continue down that river. Or choose another path beyond what we see. Then we must look for it together. We must learn to trust, rebuild, and follow the blade. <laughs> oh, 
We are the shadows. That served the light. There's a new hidden blade there. Alright. So that's what I was wondering. I was okay, so like I see the name right there. Right there. The Yasuke. Um if I like he was there's not a lot of like African people in Japan. And so I'm guessing the controversy people were talking about now. I'm, I'm seeing what they're talking about. Like out of all the <laughs> eons of of history that you could choose a, a samurai warrior or a ninja or whatever, you're gonna choose like the one time there was a, a African character, and I'm sure the people are, you know, looking at like cultural appropriation or like you know this isn't an accurate depiction of, you know, what the samurai culture was like, uh, since this is like you know, 1% of 1% of 1% of what the actual samurai were. Okay, I could see some of the controversy there. Um, I don't know. I think this is a real historical character, though, if I, if, if I remember right. Uh, I don't know, you know, I don't know Japanese history very well at all. I mean, literally nothing. So correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think there's a historical character that this is based on. And, you know, the other Assassin's Creed games do that as well like they they take these characters that are like historical characters and sort of like blend them and you know make little tweaks to the characters where like now like whatever you're fighting the pope at the end of the game and he's like the big bad guy or whatever you know i remember some of the other games doing that so you know the assassin's creed series has been known for taking some creative license with some of these things in history and like you know making it fit the story they're trying to tell so i don't see how this is that different I don't know if people are up in arms just because now we're looking at a different time period or they had expectations for this time period because, you know, they wanted a certain type of game and now maybe this isn't delivering, but I don't know. That looked fun to me at least. Like, I like the action looked good. I know it was a cinematic trailer and none of this was like gameplay or any of that kind of stuff, but I'm not going to say that I'm not playing this game yet. I mean, I've played most of the other Assassin's Creed games. It looks like we're going to have two lead characters. We have Yasuke, like I said, and then I don't know how to pronounce that name. Is that Naoi? Is Na Naoi? Na Naoi? One of those things? Okay, help me out if you know the pronunciation of this character. But it look, looks like we have a male and a female character. One's more of a ninja, one's more of a samurai could go to like two completely different game gameplay styles so maybe if you like the stealth kind of style like i said you'd play as her and if you want one of the more action adventure kind of style you'd play as him i could see both of those kind of working out so we'll see i don't know i don't, I don't know what uh what this game has in store it kind of you know like i remember when what was the game where the assassin's creed where it was in london you had like evie and edward whatever those the brother and sister team you know, a lot of time, you know, people talk bad about that game. I actually enjoyed that one quite a bit. Uh, like a lot of the like bare knuckle boxing matches and all that. There was like some fun little things to that game that some of the other games didn't have. So uh, I liked that Assassin's Creed. I liked most of them, honestly. Uh, it's a fun series of games. Um, are all of them as high a quality as, 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 you know, no, there's some dips in, in quality all throughout the series. But I think it, when you had a, a game series that's gone on as long as Assassin's Creed has, there's going to be some dips i think you know kudos to the team that's still putting out these games putting out pretty high quality games this one looks like a good one to me and this is kind of a game i've always wanted to play um i never looked into i never played ghost of tsushima i know that kind of like the same sort of period i think uh or at least kind of a similar vibe of like ninja samurai all that kind of stuff um how do you think this game is going to compare for those people that played that game do you think this even has a chance uh, to be as good as that one or is it, or are we wasting our time even talking about it um, let me know what you think guys. Um, I'm excited for this game. Hopefully you're excited for this game too. It looks like a fun time to me. So, uh, it, you know, it says November 15th, 2024. Um, that's not too far away, you know. Uh, I'm sure we're going to be getting some more information between now and then. If you like this video, guys, give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a share. Check out the link in the description always for some merch from my merch store. Help out the channel, all those kinds of things guys hopefully you enjoyed this if you did uh yeah join me for the next one and don't forget always to be kind to one another i'll see you in the next one bye pigskin and poetry coach hunter reads reviews and reacts